another episode of Pink Confinement, and we got Shamar in the building. Yeah, Marmar, by the way, aka Marmar. Okay, Marmar. Oh, what you want? Marley Mar. Marley Mar. What you representing? Okay. Tell the people where we North at New right Jersey. now. BT. Back okay. Tell by the way. Okay, then. <laughs> you heard him? Project Peggy. Okay, then. You know, you okay, know, then. You know, you know. Oh, represent. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, all right, my mark. So, so could you give us a little background about how you grew up? Did you have any siblings and how you was raised? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got siblings. I got a sister. I got a brother on my mother's side. I got brothers, brothers on my father's side, stuff like that. Whatever. Um, I grew up with my mother for a little while. Then my grandmother. I grew up with my grandmother. After that, whatever. Um. So what age did you go to your grandmother? Eight. 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 So Eight. could you take a talk about why you went to your grandmother? Because I guess my mother ain't had nowhere to go at the time. I don't know. I don't know what the, the reason why. Really though, but. So was your father? My mother, in your my life? mother was like, yeah, my father was there, but my mother was like. A hustle. She was out there hustling and shit. She was okay, there. so she was in the street. And shit. Like, yeah. So, like, but did like, she take care of you financially? Yeah. Hell yeah, she took care of me. So you yeah. stayed fresh and everything? She took care of me and my sister and my brother. Okay, okay then. So, your mama gave you love, real love, even though she was hustling. Your grandma too? <laughs> no, my grandmother wasn't. My grandfather was. So why not your grandma? You know, most people like grandma. Oh, you said she gives you give me love? Yeah. yeah. My grandma gave me love. Hell yeah, she gave me love. I'm a baby. I was spoiled. So. Oh, little baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. So, at what age did you start getting in trouble? Um, jeez. Yeah. Damn, probably like after, probably like 10. 10? 10? 11. Like bad in school and shit like that. But so, you was fighting? You know, yeah, I was doing all types of shit. Some nut shit. Like, but, other than that. Was you acting out? Yeah, acting out. Because so, I wanted my mother. I always wanted to be my mother. Okay. How did you need to... How did you need her to love you growing up? And what did you need from your mother? I wanted to be my mother. I loved my mother. Love my mother. Okay. So the craving to be with your mother caused you to act out and mm-hmm. start being bad. So at that age, did you start smoking weed? Did you start doing nah, drugs? Not at ten. I don't know. Not at ten. Did you start getting into boys? No, at ten. No. Okay. I'm still playing with dolls and shit like that. So. Okay. My friends, then my best friends, and them. Yeah. So did you ever go to YDC? What's that? Youth house. No, I never made it to the youth house. I got arrested as a kid, but never made it to the youth house. Why you got arrested as a kid? What you do? He was bad, like going to NJIT, riding around, going in there, fighting people when we was younger, beating people up and stuff. So you got them hands. <laughs> <laughs> you got them hands. <laughs> <laughs> you got them Beatles. <laughs> I was bad. He was bad. I grew up in the project, so. Okay. Some badass kids. Going so, around all the A-Wid, A-Hood, just doing mad dumb shit. So was you in the game? Are you affiliated? Nah, I ain't no game. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> what, what was the charges that got you <laughs> confined? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody told him. I think somebody got bagged then, you know, gave the drop on me. Oh, so, what you do? What what I they get the drop on? I was <laughs> fucking with the wrong people, like. Was it a group of people? Females, males? Like everybody. I just was fucking with everybody. Like just being friendly, shit like that. Like, shit is crazy. So what was the crime that you was accused of? Oh, selling drugs at my house. Guns. I got lucky for guns and stuff like that. What type of drugs? Boy, girl? Boy, girl. (laughs) Pills, weed. So what they say you were Griselda the Blanco? <laughs> they tried 
Did you have a paid lawyer or did you have a public defender to fight your case? A public defender. Why? Because <laughs> the nigga I got bad for and do the right thing. So you ain't had no money to save it up? Nah, my sister got me from my house. My fuckers got me from my house. My fuckers robbed me. I was locked up. So do you do you fuck with it? You know, I hear a lot of people say, you know, that's your sister, that's your nah, mama. I forgave, brother. I forgave her at the end of the day. I love my sister at the end of the day, but like, it is what it is. Like, do you trust her? <laughs> I don't trust nobody. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the dude, who that was, was he a nigga or just a homeboy? Nah, he just like a homeboy. Like, somebody from the hood. Like, so just get a paperwork that somebody dropped a dime on you. Nah, I just said, um, what do you call that shit? Confidential Yeah, like a CI. A CI. They said a CI. So they couldn't tell me who it was or whatever. If I would have went to trial, it came up. Until you go to trial, they said, if you don't, if you cop out, they don't tell you who told me. Okay, then. So did they come they with you at a plea? Huh? Yeah. It was first, they were something like coming with some big numbers and numbers. I wasn't taking that shit. I wasn't trying to hear it. And it came, they finally came down. It came down with like a seven with a 42. I wasn't going to take that either. I was trying to get a 42 with a 42, but it was taking too long. So I just took the seven with the 42 with uh, just get that shit over with. Cause I was sitting in the county for so long, I was ready to go. Like, and then my son was out there. Like, he me like son. Left my son when he was 14. So how long free, was you sitting in the county? Free side, by the, by the way. way. Free side, side baby, my baby by boy, by the way. Okay, then. Okay, then. Free him. So how long did you sit in the county before they shipped you off to prison? 17 months. 17 months? Mm -hmm. So who took care of your son while you were locked up? Um, For a little minute, he was, like, in the streets. Ain't nobody really get him at first in the beginning. Ain't nobody get him. But, like... One of my best friends had stepped up. She had gotten him, but he was like acting up. He didn't want to be there. He was being grown, like he want to smoke weed and shit like that. And then, like, one of my aunts had got him, or whatever. He was wild in the air, shit like that. And then his brother, mother had got him. She so she took him while he was locked up. I mean, while I was locked up or whatever. But, How does that make you feel as a mother that you can't do nothing in your power to be with your son and to look out for your son and? No, folks really ain't looking out for him. So how does that make you feel? Shit feel crazy. Like, shit make me feel crazy. So do you have a decent decent relationship with your son's brother, mother? Yeah, she good. She all right. We all right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So did you get any fights while you was down in the county in no, chain no. gang? Uh-uh. No. Did you gamble in there? <laughs> no. You didn't gamble? No, you made gamble. stove? Yeah, I made school. Okay, then. Okay, then. Did you have any relationship with the females nah, in there? Uh-uh. Ain't I no boy cool there? I'm like, nah, hell no. <laughs> I was cool with him. I was cool uh, with him. So, so you ain't no bull daddy? Nah, uh-uh, uh, uh. No <laughs> How much time did you do? <laughs> Five years. And you ain't bull daddy that damn time? No way. And you ain't letting nobody munch <laughs> on your pussy? Uh-uh, nah. <laughs> so you play with your pussy? Nah, I ain't do none of that either. Did you ride wait, the shower? I don't wait till I came home, that's all. Oh, I'm a G so, like that. I'm okay. A G, I don't need that. I'm a G like that. Okay. My mom said she got the hair up. I'm a G. I don't do all that. I don't need to do that. Okay. Did you have any unauthorized relationship with any officers? Oh, no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. I ain't stay down there real long for that. I ain't stay down there long to be doing it. I, don't, I wouldn't even do no dumb shit like that anyway. Why? Why you wouldn't did it? I'm not doing that. Hell no. Okay. Okay. Crazy. They ain't freeing me. They was let me go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you familiar with the Edna Manhattan Institution for Women? Mm -hmm. Was you housed there? Yeah. Been on so, it three times. So how was it? Was there any abuse going on? Was the inmates getting abused by the officers? They said they was, but I didn't. I wasn't there to witness it. But you didn't witness it? Yeah. Okay. There was a lot going on down there, but I ain't witness. I heard a lot about it. So can you tell that. for the people that watched it, they ain't never been to prison before. How did it like in there? Can you give us a visual? What it smell like in there? <laughs> you got to clean up. They like they make you clean up, so it wasn't dirty in there. It wasn't dirty? Mm -mm. 
Y'all didn't have no females hiding no bloody pants under the mats and stuff? No. Nah. <laughs> they, they did. They did where I was at. No, they ain't do. They wasn't. <laughs> yeah. They had drawers and shit, but like pads ain't like, no. Nah. I ain't seen nobody do that. So y'all ain't have no females acting out, throwing piss on the officer, putting shit oh, on yeah, the wall? They do that. Yeah, they did that. So what they call that when a female throw piss on also missing with chemicals? What they call that? I don't know what they call that shit. What they call it? <laughs> they gonna beat your ass. That's what they call it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what crazy is. Put you on sea cottage for that. Okay, crazy, then. Crazy word. So who supports you financially during your incarceration? Um, a few of my friends. Do you still talk to them to this day? Yeah. Okay, okay. Did you have a hustle down there? Mm -hmm. What was yeah. your hustle? Um, the pills. I'm selling pills in there. What kind of pills? Rottens and shit like that. So if I wanted one, how much do you charge me? It depends on what milligrams it is. If it's an 800, it's $8. 600, what, $6. It's so $8. did any of your homegirls get a discount they wanted it? Nah. So everybody's getting the same flat rate? Yeah. Did y'all throw any parties out there? Feel me, I ain't really had nobody on the outside like that, making sure I was good like that. So I had to hustle. Like I'm a hustler then. Okay, then. Anyway, so you scraping up everything. Okay, okay. So before you was released, did you have any plans or what you was gonna do when you got home? Um, did you reunite with your son? What was going on with that? Yeah, I reunited with him though, but like he locked up in some bullshit. He ain't even do. That shit like crazy, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. You feel me? Like, so, you learn. since we yeah, you gotta learn. Like, yeah. So, do you feel, you know, I heard some people say, well, you know, if a parent being incarcerated, their child is likely to follow. Do you feel that's a true statement? Some, some way, yeah. But like, why, why you say that? I don't know. It's like if you going and your child is out here by yourself, like really not listening to nobody, then like what you could do, like it's behind bars, like. Mm -hmm. So that's how I look at it. Like, I like no, I mean some kids grow up to. Yeah. So. Yeah. So how did that make people. you feel as a mother? Fucked up, bad. She go every motherfucking week, every visit. <laughs> okay. Real bad. It's like I'm locked up. My son, I'm on my way home, and my son locked up now. Like, I had a farm in the halfway. I was in the halfway house. I did most of my time in the halfway house. Mm -hmm. I probably stayed down Clinton for like nine months, eight months, or whatever. Then I went straight to the halfway house. So, like, I was in there most of all my time. Then, like, on my way home, I called and they said my son was locked up for some bullshit. He kept getting locked up. Mm -hmm. Whatever, keep getting locked up, locked up, locked up. But like, I don't know. I think somebody worked it on him, like, cause he's the only one locked up, and shit like that. Like, it's crazy. And everybody else don't trust nobody, but he just he don't listen. Like, you feel me? Like, he don't listen. Bro. So, do you talk to your son? Do you yeah, write your son? I told him I go see my son all the time. Okay. Every day I go see him. I talk to him on the phone. He called me. Like, so, how important is it for a parent to support their child while they locked up? But yeah, yeah, very important. Thousand percent. Now, what if a child is a grimy motherfucker? Do you feel that their parents should still be behind their yeah, child? Yeah, you motherfucking right. No matter what he does, no matter what your child does. Okay. So, what's the relationship with him now? With him being incarcerated and with you being free? It's all right. It's good. Okay. So. With him being locked up, I'm pretty sure you talking to him. He see now that you know he can't trust nobody, and you know he got to get himself together, right? Yeah, he know like how I, I always was in and out of jail, so like he see that I'm working and all that shit. Now I'm doing the right thing. He just want me to stay on the right track so I could be out here for him. Okay. You know I mean? Okay, then I've been through a lot. Okay, so what? How is life for you right now? It's all right. It's great. It's good. To be better, but I'm good. I'm living. I'm here, you know. Mm -hmm. So I ain't locked up. 
Yeah, you above ground. I got, you know, I got everything back that I lost, and I got locked up slowly but surely. You feel me? But I'm working. So like, I'm supposed working to do. Working on getting that boy home. Yeah, trying to get my baby home, whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, so, is it a good feeling? I know you're a hustler, so. You know, when you hustling, you know that fast money comes and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Versus, you know, when you're getting a job and stuff like that. Does it, it still different. give you the same gratification it's, that it's you ain't locked up and you got a job and stuff like that? <laughs> when you're not hustling no more, brother. it's real different. So yeah. how does that make you feel as an individual that's somebody used to hustling, but now, you know what I'm saying, they going down a different path, so... They can stay out of trouble, but how does that make you feel you as an feel individual? Good. You feel good. Okay. You feel good. Thing. So did they have any programs for you for when you got out or when you was in a halfway house? No, not really. They, ain't, they don't help you with housing and shit like that, but when I came home, I had to go because I maxed out. So okay. I had to be in no programs and all that, but it was this place named the entry. They just... They help you a little bit, but they don't help you like that. So if it was up to you, what would you have set up for a female that's getting out of prison? She don't got no family. She don't got an address to go to. So what would you do if it was up to you to help a female to get on the right path so she don't go back to that toxic environment? I'd probably let her come stay with me for a little while so she, you know what I'm saying, get herself together, whatever, get on her feet, whatever. And Tell her to do the right thing. Like, ain't shit out here. Mm-hmm. Just gotta stay focused. Like, nobody wanna be in jail. Yeah. Like, you wanna go back there, then you dead, you on your own type shit. Like, like, do you think that they should have more programs, and I'm talking about real programs, to help a female to get housing? Yeah. To get a job? Yes. To get food because stamps? They don't help the females like that out here. They help all the males before they help the females. Like Why you think that is? I don't know. That's it's that's weird. It's a yes. That's the in the prison a thing. Yup. Mm. Uh, women yup. So they okay. get them, they get first priority for everything. It's like. But. So do you think if they did have those things in place to actually help a female, a lot of them wouldn't go back? Okay. So for anybody that's watching this, what message do you have for the people, for the young girls, the hustler? Mm-hmm. What they be like, damn, you know, that slow money just, just slow. Stay sucker free, that's all. Stay sucker free. Stay sucker free? Yep. <laughs> okay, then. You got any social medias? You got any shout outs you want to do? I just want to say free my big boy. Shout out to my sister Savoya right here. Okay, then. Boy. Uh, my bestie in the bathroom in there, Nikki. So I Nikki. Beanie right here. Beanie. <laughs> little fat fat right here, Narvi. You know what I'm saying? That's it? Yeah. All right, then. You all know we in NJ, New Jersey. Edition in the building. There you go. Another episode oh, of to, um, The Court so Rally Court so I love y'all too. <laughs> Okay. Did you ever indict me?